Hi, I'm Rachel Carroll, the director here at the Carroll Home Team here in the Space and Treasure Coast of Florida. And I want to talk to you in this video about my 13 top free things to do right here in Vero Beach, Florida. Please, please, if you find this content helpful and interesting, make sure you hit the subscribe button below or you can click the bell. Give this video a thumbs up. That lets me know that I need to make more uh, content just like this for people just like yourself, uh, wanting to learn more about our fantastic area. Okay, so let's get right into it. The first free activity I have for you is go to the beach. Vero Beach has some of the most beautiful beaches here on the coast, on the Atlantic coast of Florida. Um, I'm definitely partial to them. That's one of the reasons why I chose to live here. Our beaches are so beautiful. They're quaint, they are not overcrowded, and parking is free. Public parking in Vero Beach is free. So that is something that you absolutely can go and take advantage of right now. So my second free activity is going and walking through Rock City Gardens. Now, Rock City Gardens is a local business. It is a nursery. Uh, it's really beautiful. You can actually go there and walk through their beautiful grounds. So I want you to think McKee Bo Botanical Gardens, but free. <laughs> So you can actually go through, walk through, there's no obligation to buy anything. It's actually a really wonderful experience. They have some absolutely incredible trees and other plants there that's really uh, worth going to take a look at. So really nice weekend activity. The next free activity that I have for you is going on a greenway walk. So here in Vero Beach, we have a few different options when it comes to going on a Greenway Walk. There's actually um, a walk that's called the Lagoon Greenway. It's pretty neat. It winds you back through the woods and along a really beautiful wooden boardwalk all the way out to the river with some incredible views. Um, we've got a really neat nature walk down in the Oslo area. Uh, we have some other really neat nature walks also available to us along um, the Jungle Trail. There's lots of options here, but going for a Greenway Walk, free for you, parking is free, and it's a really beautiful way to experience the nature that we have here in our area. The next one piggybacking off of that is going for a bike ride along the Jungle Trail. So the Jungle Trail is this really unique road that runs through a portion of Vero Beach along the island here. And it used to actually be an old roadway before they built A1A and paved it out. So it's still um, drivable. It's also walkable. A lot of um, long distance runners like to jog back through there because it's nice and shaded. But I think it's a really great place to go for a bike ride. It's like um, a sandy kind of packed uh, road. So you're not biking along a busy street. It's more of like a meandering kind of road. I think it's a lot safer. It's nice because a lot of it's shaded, but it really covers some mileage. And again, it's a really nice way to get out there and experience some of the nature and the trees and the wooded areas in Vero Beach. So it's a, it's actually a really lovely experience. I highly recommend that you do this. Okay, my next free activity that I think you should absolutely take advantage of if you're here at the right time of the month uh, in Vero Beach is our Downtown Friday Fest. So uh, Vero Beach takes their whole Main Street area. It's 14th Avenue, uh, it's the actual street name, but we have Main Street Vero Beach. They shut it down for Friday, uh, the last Friday of every month. It's family friendly, it's dog friendly. They've got great music, live bands, uh, wonderful food, all kinds of local vendors that come out. You can meet a lot of people in the community. Just have a really nice, great time in the evening. Um, 10 out of 10, I recommend that you go and do this at least once, if not every single month, put it on your calendar. It's really a fun time and it's absolutely free zero cost of admission. All right, so the next great free event here in Vero Beach is our farmer's market. 
Every Saturday, uh, we host a small little quaint farmer's market on Ocean Drive, so it's on the island. Um, parking is a little bit competitive, so the earlier you arrive, the better, but uh, Ocean Drive is so walkable, so even if you have to uh, park a block down or whatever. Um, it's definitely an accessible little farmer's market. And uh, they have all kinds of things like um, soaps and uh, family, uh, like goods from family farms and pa uh, fresh pastries and fresh coffee and great dips and just like some really wonderful items at that farmer's market. It's a nice thing to go out and do on a Saturday morning with your family and um, it's absolutely free. So is the parking. So uh, t also 10 out of 10 recommend that you check that out. So every Saturday, they may break a little bit during the summer months. I would check that out um, if you are planning to visit if, and you're gonna be here just for a certain time frame, check it out, see if they're running year round at this point. I know sometimes they do uh, take a little break in some of our hottest months of the summer, but nevertheless, it's free, check that out. Um, the next thing I wanna talk about is some of the, our really wonderful parks and playgrounds that you can take your children to. Obviously, they're for free. We have a handful of wonderful um, public accessible playgrounds. Some of my favorite are the McCanch Park. Um, they've got a great playground there and a nice field that kids can run, and it's nice and shaded. Uh, they've got like some tree shade and some seating important for me as a parent. Um, I also really love Humiston Park, which is right along the ocean. It's a, a big playground. It's probably one of the largest ones in the area. Uh, they've got swings, they've got shade. Um, it's really close to shops too. So if you have to pop over and get some water or you want ice cream, that one's a pretty fun playground to visit. Um, I also really love Pocahontas Playground, which is right off of Main Street in Vero Beach. It's one of our older um, parks there, but it's nice and fenced in. So if that's something that you worry about if you're taking your kids out to play, that might be a great option. It's also shaded. So um, yeah, we've got a lot of really great parks and playgrounds for you to take advantage of if you have children and that's something that you're looking forward to doing. Um, the next thing that I wanna highlight also is pretty family friendly. It's the fountains at Royal Palm Point. So we have this great little uh, peninsula here in Vero Beach. It's off of Indian River Boulevard and uh, you can drive back. They've got some really great shops, restaurants, retail there. But at the very end, there's this beautiful little park that they have with a huge water fountain. And it runs mostly year round. You also need to check your dates on that if it's something that you're coming like a destination and you wanna take advantage of that while you're here. Um, but nevertheless, it's really neat. It's a huge fountain area, uh, all family friendly, lots of seeing. There's a little green grassy area there too. And the most beautiful part of it is that it overlooks the river, like uninhibited river views of the Indian River. And there's like the beautiful Barber Bridge in the background. It's really a nice scene. So uh, I love that. It's also free, parking is free, admission is totally free. All right, so the next free activity that I wanna highlight for you, this is for my history buffs. This is for people who wanna learn a little bit more about Indian River County while you're here. Go visit the Indian River County Citrus Museum. Um, it's got a lot of really neat, neat things in there. Some of the people who work there volunteer there. They're historians of our area. They can give you a lot of really neat historical facts. There's Indian uh, River County has a very rich citrus history. It's very interesting and I definitely recommend that you go check that out while you're here if that is your thing. All right, so my 10th recommendation for free activities to do here in Vero Beach is going to be the Vero Beach Museum of Art. Uh, admission, general admission is not free. You can buy a membership, but 
around the last weekend of every month, check availability on this, but the last weekend of every month, they do what's called a museum studios tour. And they take you through, they do a tour, they give you a little lesson, an art lesson, and then they let you do an art project. This could be, uh, and they do on their website, they do post the subject. So go and check it out and see if it's something that would be interesting to you on their upcoming dates. I think this would be a really cool opportunity to do with family or do with children. Um, it's a great opportunity to get some art exposure and to learn something new. Also, the Vero Beach Museum of Art is just such a beautiful building and they've got such wonderful art exhibits. Um, my family, we pay for a membership um, and I, I really just love that they're here and what they have to offer the community. So my 11th, free activity that I have for you here in Vero Beach is the Vero Beach Dog Park. Now they've got this uh, really awesome park here for you to take your four-legged friends. They've actually got it sectioned out. It's fully fenced. They've got it sectioned out between big dogs, little dogs. It's a really neat place. If you do have a fur baby, you can take them, let them stretch their legs, let them socialize a little bit. And then you get to socialize with other, um, you know, dog lovers too. So it's, it's actually really nice. I've met some great people there and um, it's really well maintained. So that's one of the things that I really like about it too. Like the, the people who use it, maintain it well, respect the rules of the dog park. It's a nice place to go. So also free and that's what I recommend. Okay, so my 12th recommendation for free activities to do here in Vero Beach is going to be visiting Laporte Farms. Laporte Farms is a family run, I would call it like a petting zoo. So they've got a really neat farm out there. It's donations based only, so admission is free. And they've got some really wonderful, very, very friendly animals. They've got uh, horses, ducks, goats, I mean, I can't even name all of them. They've got an assortment of different animals that are very, very friendly. So this would be a nice place for you to go if you're looking for that kind of activity or to take your little ones as well and let them interact with some neat different types of animals. Um, I've, I've been to birthday parties there. I've taken my kids there for play dates and uh, I really just think it's well run. Always everybody's very welcoming and it's a neat thing to do and it's free. All right, last but not least, my 13th free activity that I have for you in Vero Beach, Florida is going to be Round Island State Park. Um, it is one of my favorite places. This is actually one of the first places I ever visited when I first heard about Vero Beach. I took a kayak tour and I had such an amazing experience. There was like four manatees, this is not even made up, there was four manatees that followed me around in my kayak. It was absolutely incredible. A very, very wonderful memory of mine. Um, but there's a lot to do there. So it, this kind of falls under the umbrella of the Greenway Walks that I already mentioned earlier in this video. But you, there's a beautiful trail that goes through there. They've got some really neat bridges which act kind of as lookout points because they do elevate you above everything. There actually is a lookout tower. I think it's like two or three stories high. You can go up and kind of just look over the lagoon. It's pretty neat. Um, there's a lot of wildlife there, of course, birds. It's a popular fishing area. Um, there's manatees there through different parts of the year. They're more prevalent. I've seen them on many different occasions. There is also a neat little playground right there, a place to picnic, um, bathrooms, like a restroom. So it's pretty like traveler friendly and family friendly in that way. And there's like a little boat launch where it's a popular destination for kayakers and paddle boarders to um, launch from right there. So there's a lot to do in that little area. It's also right across the street from the beach. So if you wanna take advantage of both in one day, uh, that is accessible to you as well. But that is my 13th free um, recommendation for activities to do here in Vero Beach. And I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you take some of these things and go out and try them. There's a lot more actually, I just couldn't fit them all into one video. Um, 
And I wanted to give you my top favorites. So I'm sure there's more. If you want to share those, please, I welcome you to leave them in the comments for the other viewers. If you find this content helpful, again, give it a thumbs up so I know. Uh, you can leave me a comment below, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when I drop more videos on this channel. Thank you again. I really appreciate you being here with me on this video and watching along. And you all take care. This is Rachel Carroll with the Carroll Home Team here in the Space and Treasure Coast of Florida. If you like this content and you want more, click the videos to my left.